the last eight games, but with, on balance, another very decent campaign on which to reflect. And Liverpool, two defeats in their last three Premier League games, seeking to take this long if they can, to get as close to the title climax as reasonably they might. To be, in fact, my close of play today, still level on points with Arsenal at the very top. Neither Lee Dixon, neither has much form, but both have great incentive. Yeah. Corner's a quick one, and West Ham have stolen the lead. It's Jared Bowen on the mark. Bright of mind, bright of movement. Pretty bubbles. West Ham lead a couple of minutes out from the break. Robertson, Diaz from wide. To drive at Safal. Luis Diaz. Equaliser. Andy Robertson squeezed it in. And Liverpool aren't quite done yet. That, that is the riposte he demanded. Callister's take. He got a near post flick. Gakpo! It's bundled in. An ugly moment for a rueful of Bonner. Little matter how it happened, it happened. And Liverpool have turned another one round. From behind, they lead on the road for Klopp. Bowen. Thrusting header of West Ham's number nine. Feeling the rhythm. It's all over. A most curious game. Curious for several reasons, not least sometimes the ambience around it. Regardless of all of it, it is possibly the afternoon when Liverpool's last realistic dash at glory has seeped away. They needed to win two more points have leaked away West Ham had the lead at the end of the first half from Jared Bowen Liverpool came out a different team after half time Robertson promptly equalised there was an ugly own goal last off Areola which had Liverpool in front but uh, Mikhail Antonio with a classic number nine's header got West Ham the point and then beyond all of that the curiosity of all curiosities when Areola put the ball down Cody smelt possibility and the referee put out a fire before it started and so it ends here West Ham United 2 Liverpool 2 and from Klopp's point of view that possibly represents the culmination of the would-be fairy tale he raises a smile Rebecca he raises a smile but deep down inside of him he must know as all of us do that Liverpool have become the distant third horse. Hello guys, welcome again to our Peter Drury post-match commentary review and why I think this is the best West Ham vs Liverpool commentary ever. So let's get down to it. Alright, number one, bright of minds, bright of movement, pretty bubbles. I mean, this is enough to carry your breath away. Number two, feeling the weather. Michael Antonio's equalizer, the way he describes it, is comical per se. And this is enough reason just actually to convince you that this is one of the best Peter Drury commentary uh, versus West Ham and Liverpool. Another area that I think really triggered my nerves is the outro. Simply amazing. Like This man knows how to actually hook you to stick to his commentary. Now, guys, so this is in regard to this uh, uh, particular commentary. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Bye-bye for now.